sure to cook. Today we're going to be doing meatball subs. We're going to do everything homemade. Then I'm going to add a little Creole seasoning inside of here. I'm going to give this a great stir. Look at that guys, I am good to go. I hear you. Yes. Oh my God, that is wonderful. So, that was about four to five. I'm back. Welcome back to another episode of Be Sure to Cook. Today, we're going to be making fried zucchini. So stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so here is my zucchini. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this for the fry. So I have a basic old regular fork and I try to get one that was a little thinner. And I usually have, I got some forks that are real thick and I try to find the one that's real thin. So I want to take my fork and go from the top all the way down, and I want to slide this down, like so. Turn off each piece, and I'm gonna do this going all the way around my secure. Okay, and you want your zucchini to look just like this pretty, isn't it? And if you don't have some that don't, you know, just go back over a little bit if you want. Make sure it's got those nice designs in there. That you're going to discard. Let's wash this up. Okay. I've got a clean paper towel wrapped up into my zucchini that I'm drying off. Hey, I am the most paper toweling, loving person you ever seen. I love paper towels and I use it for everything. And I've got rows and rows of paper towels. So, to dry off your food is the best thing. All right, so since I've dried it off, everything's fine. I'm gonna cut both ends off both of these tips off okay i'm gonna sh cut straight across so i can get two full slices then i think i'm going to cut across this way and i'm also going to cut across this way Okay, I cut these up into like stick forms, but you can cut them any way you want to cut these. But I cut them up in, in stick forms so everybody can have a stick. Okay, we have two beaten eggs in a bow. And I'm going to add some good old buttermilk here. Okay, you can add as much buttermilk as you think it would be. A half fourth cup, a third cup. It's just batter. It depends on how many vegetables you have. So we're going to beat both of these eggs and my buttermilk up. Now, if you have little vegetables and you're just making a you and, you know, a couple friends or just your family members or just you, you don't have to use two of these eggs. You can use one. It depends on how many vegetables you have. And you want to beat this up really good. Okay, I've got some all-purpose flour I'm just going to lay down. It looks like a good amount of flour to work with. Like I said, you could put, as long as you got enough, we're just going to cover your vegetables. You're, you're good to go. Okay, all-purpose. Okay, I have some Italian breadcrumbs that I have gotten. And I'm going to add some to my bow. Add as much as you think. First start off with a little because you're going to be dipping back and forth. Well, to these breadcrumbs, which they are seasoned, but let's season them up a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of white pepper. 
I want them to taste good. I've got some wonderful garlic powder. And then my famous of all time. <laughs> it's everything. And it is Mrs. Dash Blend. And make sure it is blend. Okay, I'm going to mix this up really, really good. Got my zucchini, and I'm going to roll this in a flour. Brushing off majority of the flour. Sticking it into my wet bow. Covering it up. I've got this spatula so I can actually cover it up. There we go. Then I'm going to pick this up and let this drain. And then I'm gonna lay this in my breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna to toss this around. Once I got all the breadcrumbs on it, I always like to take my breadcrumbs and kind of press down on it to make sure it's really sticking good. And then I'm going to lay them on the plate. So I'm going to do the rest of these. And we're going to put them in the fryer. Okay, I'm dropping these in. I'm dropping four of them in. We're going to cook these four. We don't want to overcrowd our pan. Okay. Okay, so... We're going to keep cooking them and make it more and more. These are our fried zucchini. I actually took these fried zucchini and I actually took them and I'll put these one at a time. I cut them down a little bit so they'll be bite size for your guests. The other one's a little bit too long. Some of them are different sizes, so some of them can cook. You know, you got to make them a little thicker for them to be really strong. If you make them too thin, then they, they're they going to be a little soggy. So you're going to make sure you get those zucchini sticks, you know, a little thicker. You don't want to make them, you don't want to really cut them too thin. You don't want to cut them really, really big and thick, but you want to cut them nice, a nice good size where they know where they're going to hold up in the oil. Okay, I have a little dipping bowl over here. You can actually use whatever sauce you want to dip your fried zucchini in. I'm going to use a good old ranch. You fill this up with ranch. You can use a like a tomato sauce if you like or you know whatever you want to use to dip your ranch. Some people might want mustard or you can do mayonnaise. It's up to you. But for my guests, it would be this and a good old a tomato sauce. And you can just take one of these babies anyone and you just dip it and oh my god what a treat so here it is fried zucchini guess what i didn't make this by myself you you and me we did this together and i hope we do plenty more dishes come back next time so we can make another great dish together please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel hey see you all guys next time Bye.